under an operation, right? He's got a, something on his shoulder. Rolly? Yeah. Who is that? Rolly? He's doing pretty good training people. I mean, oh, I understand he just went under an operation. Oh, operation. geez. It's you know, been a long time. We're not really talking about Rolly. Yeah, because uh, apparently because of this operation he's got to go through. He, according to what I understand, he's looking to go through this operation and qualify to for the Olympia again next year. Wow, it's really excited if we're gonna see Rolly and qualify for next year, yeah? But where is Rolly now? I don't know. I heard the opposite. I don't know. I heard there was rumors floating around that uh, that he was going to retire, but now I'm hearing that he wants to uh, fix what he's got going and then um, and then now uh, qualify again. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. If Raleigh really retired, I think so many fans and so many people are gonna really sad. Yeah, let's see what's happened, and I hope Raleigh will come back, right? And let's see what's happened, like Uncle John said. So oh, what we gonna talking about here, okay? Mm, I'm forget it. <laughs> Let's have the conversation with Uncle John, Jason Arns, and who else? Okay, Fakri Mubarak. Wow, Fakri Mubarak here. Wow, amazing man. And I'm forget it about one. But I know, I know who is this guy. Oh, I think. Uh, well, because what's his name went through the same thing. You know, he wanted to get when he had that surgery. The guy that you just mentioned, uh, fact, uh, Dennis, uh, yeah, Dennis Wolf, Wolf. Yeah. and then um, he just kind of never really was able to come back the way he was, you know. Wow! If Dennis Wolf will come back, I think it's gonna be excited. <laughs> Dennis Wolf plus Rolly Winkler. If this guy gonna come back, wow! Mister Olympia next year is gonna be more excited. <laughs> But anyway, the reason why I'm so high on Samson is because uh, me and Danny talked about this last time. The judges love uh, what, what, what was his name, Danny? Ian. Ian Valier. Yeah. yeah. They yeah, really, no they, they really, they really like him. You know, I mean. Oh, it could be the good news for Ian. I mean, like, what's the meaning of the judges love Ian? If judges fall in love with Ian. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just kidding. Man, if judges really, you know, really love Ian Pisik, well, that's good news for Ian. And I think Ian, it's really, you know, improving his placing better than last year. I think last year he was placing 7, right? Maybe he could be placing more higher, 5th or 4th. But really hard, man, I think for Ian, if Ian want to, you know, placing more better place than he was doing last year. Even, yeah, not already making my prediction yet but so many people really have the predicted ian will be placing in 10 plus or even more higher or even nine or eight that's all of the predicted what i'm really watch from all of the people he, to me he, to me he is the type of bodybuilder where when he first comes out he doesn't have that like i might begin i might be wrong i know everybody say you gotta see him up close i never saw the guy up close in my personal opinion he's the kind of guy that like when he first comes out, he doesn't have that wow factor. And then he starts hitting shots. And then that's, that's when he squeaks by bodybuilders. Like when he hits like his side try and his waist disappears. Or when he does his lat, uh, his, his real lat spread and his, his back opens up. And like, okay, he could squeak by this guy. He squeaks by that guy. He squeaks by that guy. But, he, he, you know, I've never seen him come out on stage and be like, damn. Like, you know, shit. You know, I don't know. What are you guys' opinion on that? What do you think, Jay? Yeah, I can see that. I think Ian is really one of the most underrated bodybuilder right now in this modern era. Because Ian is really look normal, okay, when it comes to the competition. But when it comes to the comparison standing one by one and when he's hit the post, man, I think so many people really eyes on him and really shocked with his presentation. He's really conditioned. Really. <laughs> he's got great conditioning, but again, he doesn't have like the... Uh... He's not structurally sound, you know, as some of the other guys are. But pose for pose, he starts chipping away at these guys and kind of earns his, earns his way up. But just like you said, when he comes right out, dude, he doesn't have like that, oh, shit, dude, that guy, right. 
that guy's got it. You know, like, you, you remember when uh, Flex Lewis walked on stage? Yeah. You know, like, right. All right, dude, who the fuck's going to be this guy? You know? Right, right. right. Um, he, he does not have that where, you know, some of the guys do. Um, but yeah, he uh, posed for pose, dude. He could, he could stand with almost all of them. That mean Ian just look the best when he hit the pose, okay? But when he, you know, may, maybe walking on stage and maybe he's not really posing at all, he's not really look impressive by the structure, by the, you know, separation, the definition. But don't get me wrong, he's hard, okay? Like all of these guys said, okay? Ian Valier is really conditioning. He's really dry and hard. But he just doesn't have some kind of like the structure, and it's really genetic things, I believe. What do you think, Fact? You know, I agree. I'm a hundred percent agree with uh, what, what, um, what Jason said. I mean, what, what's, you know, it's not about it's, a lot of guys walk out and you're like, yeah, all right, whatever. But remember, bodybuilding is, is pose for pose. You know, that's why we have the quarter turns. That's why we have poses. You know, and, and as a judge and Jason's judge as well, you know. Many times, you know, we'll see a guy that'll come out and, you know, on our score sheet, we're, we're trying to fucking cheat, right? So we, we try to put the numbers like one, two, ten really quick. And then we got to turn the shit around with our eraser. So I start erasing the name, you know, the numbers up. Because once you start hitting the poses, that's what makes the big difference. And people get exposed or they, you know, they take the advantage of us at that, at that point. Yeah, I think Fakri Mubarak opinion sounds like a similar like everyone said, okay? Bodybuilding, it's all about post by post. When you're not post, I think, yeah, you're good, but not really, you know, definition of the bodybuilding. That's what I'm really get from Fakri Mubarak. But I think that's really important, okay? Whether you posing or not, when people first impression see your physic, you have to look impressive, I think by the structure, by the muscle, muscle belly, separation, and everything. But it's hard, man. It's hard. Nate, why do you think the judges love Ian so much? you think uh, what I said was accurate, or you think there's another reason? Uh, no, I think what you said was accurate. I think he's just a very complete bodybuilder that checks all the boxes, so he doesn't have like, like a whole lot of wow factor, where it's like, say, Nick has the arms, Adi has the shoulders, and Grammy has the quads. So some of these guys at Olympia are freaks because they have these crazy body parts. Ian is just really well put together head to toe. His shape could be a little better, but um, for the most part, like you guys were saying, like he starts, you know, beating guys a little by slow because he's so complete, you know, as he's going through those poses. Okay, now he starts to, other guys start to sort of, you know, fall by the wayside. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Especially when he hits that, when he hits that, that side tricep, like I've never seen a waist disappear like his does when he hits that side tricep. That's the point. Hardy have the shoulder, Nick has the arms, Remy has the quads, but Ian, what's Ian have? For the impressive body part, this is what we're talking about, right? Mm, I don't know. He doesn't really have some kind like, of wow factor, I think. But I'm not saying he's not really have the muscle. His, his muscle is really complete. He's really bringing the symmetry, the package, full package muscle, the dry and hard. And I'm not agree with Ned Spear here that Ian could be more in shape, but I think he's in shape, but I don't know. That's what I'm really, really thinking and really confused about Ian, why he's really lagging a lot of the separation and the definition. You can see the veins, but you're not see really, you know, some kind of like the detail on his muscle. It just comes to the Jose Raymond back in the day. It's unreal. What do you think, Danny? Yeah, no, I agree. But everybody said but he, he's got a good personality. He's he's got he's on the um, you know Vlogs podcast. Yeah, he seems likable. Everybody you know seems to like him. So I, I think you know that probably plays a role too. I mean, you know, he's on all this podcast. That fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What are you gonna he's do? Replace me next week. He's got, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, of course, I love Ian, okay? I am really love when it comes to the Fuat Abiyat podcast and they have Ian. Wow, I'm really, really happy and I'm really love it, okay? Love it. I'm, I love Ian, okay? I'm not really want to trash talk and not hate Ian. I think I'm always learning a lot from Ian when it comes to the conditioning, dry and hard, okay? The training. Every training videos of Ian Valier on his official YouTube channel, I'm always love it and I'm always watch it. I'm never miss it, okay? 
So Ian Valia review watch this. Okay, hopefully this video can really improving yourself and don't hate me Ian. Okay, I'm not hate you. I'm fans of you Ian. Okay, I love it. Okay, I love your PC. Thank you so much guys for watching. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. I'm gonna bring more anything that we can talk and discuss in the whole topic of bodybuilding, work, and fitness. Love you guys. Join Sagala here. I'll see you guys soon. God bless you.